What is up YouTube and welcome back to another tutorial by Big Al's Barber Channel. This is our special series of quarantine tutorials guys. Welcome back. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope you guys are staying clear of the streets. I hope you guys aren't working guys. Uh, this is a great time to be picking up on tutorials and just staying in touch with the cutting systems until we get back to work guys. So what we're going to do on this gentleman right here guys, we are going to do an authentic razor fade on him razor fade so basically uh what i'm doing right here is i start off with my number four and i started uh just leveling out the playing field anything that sticks out over four i just take it down guys this is a medium high fade guys medium high as you can see i'm starting above the eyebrow level and i'm using my babyliss gold fx trimmer the skeletal rise and i'm using it to just take off all the bulk take everything creating my first initial guideline uh, I all as I as all my videos guys I do them in real time so I don't speed nothing up I just want you to guys get the real effect of what it takes to do one of these haircuts and how long it actually takes That's the reason why I kind of don't ever speed up my videos makes them a little bit longer a little bit more tedious But if you follow through um, you can see that a haircut this is actually what it takes to do a haircut This is a 20 minute haircut right here. You got to knock it out quick when you're in the shop so right there I created my first initial guideline. I always keep my, uh, call my canvas ahead of canvas because that's what we're doing. We're doing a little bit of artwork here. So I'm just knocking off all the, the excessive uh, hair from the bottom down, creating my first guide all the way around guys. And while I'm there, I just knock off all the hair below it. As you can see, I just go all the way straight down and it just comes right off like butter. Of course, that's not a complete zero right there because you're gonna still feel stubble and everything. So we're still gonna shave this gentleman. This gentleman's a regular of mine, so when he comes in, I already know that he likes a, a, a straight razor fade on him. So he always uses lather, and he always likes the original razor fade style with, with the straight razor. But like you guys always know, or if you guys aren't new to my channel, uh, when I do a razor fade with a straight razor, I always finish it off with an electric razor after, guys. And that's the reason being because there's always some kind of stubble that's left behind when you do a razor fade. You never get it completely to a zero. So it's always better to go back and hit it with the, with the razor machine. You can see I'm moving along pretty quickly right here, guys. Uh, on the top, guys, he likes uh, he. We, we normally, I, if, if it was kind of a, a, if it was a haircut, then we use a machine on top. I would do the top first, but he likes scissors on top. He just basically just slicks it back nice and tight. So right out here, what I'm starting off with, guys, is I'm using my Oster Octane, and I'm using my number two blade, number two, and I'm just going right up to the top of the crown without going into the parietal ridge, and kind of just going straight up with it, guys. Just leveling it out, making it nice and tight, super fast, super quick, super easy. Uh, as you can see, I'm just lightening it up right up to the top of the crown without too much going, without going in too much the parietal ridge of the, of the head because um, you don't want the, you still want it a little bit on the side so you can kind of comb back because he is combing it back. So once I did that number two right there, now I'm going to grab my number one lever open. And the machine that I'm using right here, guys, is I'm using the... I'm using the Caliber Magnum 357, guys. 357, uh, uh, you know, I made a review on this machine. It's a pretty good machine. I, I liked it. It, uh, it just seems like it doesn't have too much power, but you know, when you're doing haircuts like this, it, it really does move quickly right there. So what I did is I went with my number one lever open, went to the, almost to the same spot where I went with my number two, then I closed my lever. Now I'm closed completely, and it's just a number one, and I'm just lightening the bottom from the, line, from the bottom line up. That's what I'm doing, lightening it up. Then I take off my clip, lever open, and I'm gonna go up and create a guide, as you can see across, and I'm gonna go all the way across. Now I'm gonna lower my lever one click and go up to the same spot again. This is good about this machine, guys, is it has a click system, so it's real easy to follow. Now I have on the, on the second click, which is the middle, and I'm just gonna go halfway up. And as I'm going halfway up, I'm dragging that blade, kind of just pushing that shadow, bottom shadow up. Now I close it completely, and I'm just, dabbing at the bottom line right there just pushing scraping it up trying to trying to delete it trying to erase it trying to push it up as you can see there's like a little line still there so what i'm going to do is come back with my trimmer skeletalized trimmer and i'm just pushing that shadow up and this is how i get that bottom line up all the time guys i just push that 
push it up with my trimmer when you push it up you're going to create like a little secondary guide right there as you can see it's kind of like a secondary shadow what i do usually is i come back with my machine one click open and then i'll just push it back up to where the half was um, but normally that's what I do right here. There wasn't too much of a secondary shadow So what I'm doing is I grab my half clip lever open and I'm just working on that shadow that I created with a half now To, to get rid of that shadow with a half you got to take it out with a half clip guys, which is the 0.5 right here Lever open and I work my way as I'm working my way I, You can see that I'm just pushing that center shadow out pushing it in Keep it nice and clean nice and fast this is an easy haircut to me guys this is one of my favorite haircuts to do because you know the client comes in and 20 minutes you're done it's just this is a simple haircut you move along quickly see right there i grab my trimmer and i'm just kind of detailing the bottom line make sure that there's no shadow from the bottom up because you don't want that line at the bottom that's the worst thing you could do is leave that that chili bowl line all the way around guys you got to push that up get it out of there Right there, I'm just kind of doing a little bit of detail work. I have my machine about halfway open, two clicks, and I'm just pushing that center shadow up, making sure that it's nice and clean. It's all detail, guys. This is how you get, you know, guys, this is, you develop your system of fading, and, and you can push through haircuts really quick, you know, uh, but it's just developing that system, your system of cutting hair, you know. Everybody has a different system. Everybody does it different. You got to learn your way. Here's the number two, again, going with a number two detachable. It's an Oster blade uh, with an Oster Octane, and I'm just pushing it straight up. So you can see I'm just lightening the bottom from the bottom up, guys. Just pushing it up, lightening that section right there. Yeah, guys, if you guys are at home right now during this quarantine, guys, this is a great time to start watching videos, you know, start, you know, elevate your mind, educate your mind, you know, it, it just, you know, even when you're watching anybody's videos, guys, you just, it, it just helps out with your system of cutting hair when you get back. Right there, guys, I noticed, well, I, I, like I told you guys, we're slicking it back. So what I'm going to do is I come in with a little bit of clipper over comb and just cleaning it up right there. Because I don't want to take it too high with that number two, because then you're going to leave a, a ball spot up there. So now I come back, number one, lever open again, which is a one and a half. One and a half blends into a number two, so there's no blending allowed, guys. No blending to do. You're just pushing that line, pushing that shadow, and it blends right into the top shadow, as you guys can see right there. Right there, there's still a little bit of a dark spot right there in the upper, nah, in the center corner right there. Uh, um, I'm gonna come back and clean that up when I get when I get to that side. Right now, I'm just working on the bottom. Now I have my lever completely closed. And I'm just pushing that, sh pushing it right to where I went with my one and a half, not, without going too too high because then you don't want to create too much of a white spot. All these clicks and all these numbers just blend one right into each other, guys. Keep that in mind. A three goes into a two and a half goes into a three, a two goes into a two and a half, a one and a half goes into a two. You know what I mean? It's it's vice versa. So right there, I'm creating that first guide again. No 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 clip. As you can see, I created a little a guide. I went across. Lowered my lever one click. Now I'm going across again to the same spot. Lower my lever again. Now I'm only going to go halfway up. Halfway up. Don't mind my camera, guys. I'm not the best cameraman in the world, but I'm learning. I'm learning like you're learning. So now I close my lever and I'm just pushing that bottom shadow up. You can see I'm just kind of pushing it up, pushing it up. It won't come up completely, guys. So I always have to come back with a trimmer and just clean it up. Do a little bit of detail work. See, and all that's left now is that center shadow right there. That center shadow right there, we're going to handle that with a half with a half clip. But first, we got to take this bottom shadow and make sure there's nothing left down there. That way, when I come up, when I do my shave, I know where to start my shave. This exact spot right there where I'm running that trimmer, that's where I'm going to start my shave. Don't go no higher than that. You got to, from there down is where you're going to shave with a straight razor when you create your, your, your razor fade. You don't want to go higher than that because you don't want to create a, a razor line. Remember I told you a little secondary shadow? There it is right there. I'm taking it out with two clicks up on the, uh, on the machine. Now all we have to worry about now is push that center shadow, a little shadow right in the middle right there. And that's the half shadow, guys, because we created it with a half. And what we use to take that out? The half clip. Super simple, guys. Remember those steps. Barbering, baiting is just all repetitious guys repetitious the more you do the better you're gonna get the more reps you get in the faster you're gonna get the better you're gonna get so right there i got my half clip on lever open and i'm just sliding it across across that shadow now i lower it to halfway and i'm just focusing on the center shadow just trying to drag it out as much as i can as you can see i kind of dig in and pull out with a little c motion and, and that always helps in now i have my lever completely closed 
and I'm just pushing it right in the middle, right in the middle. Just pushing it right towards the middle, guys. Super simple, guys. Super simple. This is one of my favorite fades because you can move along with this fade quickly and just, you know, move along. Right there, I'm just doing a little bit of detail work. You can always see, you can almost see from the ears down, you can see like a little bit of stubble there, guys. Because when we went down with the machine, we didn't come up back up with this. So there's still a little stubble there, but we're going to get that when we get to the straight razor. Right now, we're only 10 minutes into the haircut, guys, and we're almost almost done. And I'm more than halfway done on the fade already. You guys got to remember, when you guys are working, guys, time is money. Money is time, you know. You have to move quickly, you know. Not at first. When you're learning, you learn the haircuts first. But once you get good, once you get established, then you got to move along quickly. Here's the number two again. Number two, and just leveling out the field. I'm going to go right up to the top of the crown. Remember, when I mentioned the crown, guys, I'm mentioning like this gentleman was wearing a crown. There'd be the bottom of the crown, the top of the crown. Right now, we're going right to the top of the crown. Right, you get to the before you get to the parietal ridge. The parietal ridge is the ridge where the head goes straight up and turns over into the side. That's your parietal ridge. So right here, now we got the number two. Now I'm gonna come back and just I saw it was you know I'm, I'm blended up a little bit, a little bit of clipper over comb. I'm using my steel tooth comb. If you guys don't know what a steel tooth comb is, you guys gotta check it out, guys. It's very bad. Uh, there's a link in the bottom if you guys wanna check one out. Uh, right there now I got my one clip lever open and i'm going to go back up to where i went with my number two and you can see guys when the gentleman comes in like this and, and he has a gray hair on the side of the head this is why they get the zero they get the zero because they want that gray gone you know and and you know when you get that fresh 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 fade it just makes you feel so good it makes you feel so so clean you know it makes you feel younger even myself i'm a 50 year old guy and i love getting a zero fade it just makes me feel younger when i get my zero you know get that sideburns off and makes you feel more more clean you know so right there when my lever open going across creating that guide again with a half half guide as i go across i lower my lever again and i'm just pushing that center that bottom shadow up simple solution guys simple simple steps same steps i use all the way around the head and, and you guys notice that i'm not going from side to side guys I'm, i cut in sections i cut one side back side and the other side I don't bounce around from side of the house, from side of the, the chair to the other side of the chair. It's better if you're always stationary behind you. Turn your chair, turn the chair to the way you need it to go. The chair is a tool. It's like it's like a machine for you. You know, if you're not using it, then you're struggling. Work smart. Right there, we're taking out that center shadow again. Lever open, half clip, and I'm just dragging it and pushing up right there, guys. As I go across, I lower my clip, my my click one more and. and the fade's almost done right here i'm just going to clean up the bottom with my trimmer make sure there's no bottom line push that shadow up if there's a line there you push it up you can push it up with your with your trimmer the only thing is you don't want to push too high because if you push too high then you're going to create another line and a trimmer line is a hard line to get out guys just keep that in mind but pretty much right there that's it guys the fade's almost done i'm just going to do a little bit of detail work do a little bit of cleanup I see a little bit of a shadow there. So what I do is I open my clip, no no, no, no clip on there, and I'm just working on that center shadow, just pushing it up. That's how we do this, guys. This is what we do here, man. Fading. Your shop needs to be a fade factory, guys. That's what you need to do. You gotta get good at the fade. You get good at the fade, all the other haircuts will fall in line. So right there, what I'm doing is adding some water on top. We're going to saturate the top really good, as I always do. Um, the top's going to be super quick, guys. It doesn't have much up there. So we're just kind of cleaning it up, making it look nice. And the way we do that is just saying, I'm just going to slick it back, slick it back. I'm going to pull up a little bit. I'm going to create a guide right there. I'm, gonna, I'm doing about maybe like a six on top, maybe. you know, If I ran a six on it, probably come out the same way. Uh, I'm not taking too, too much off. I'm just kind of leveling it out. It's going to be four section part and a four section cut. And I, as I can see, I'm going back, just trimming it, just making it light and out nice. Once I do that, I'm going to go to the other side and I'm taking a little bit more off. Same thing, just coming to the back. And right now I'm going to switch to the side and I'm going to crisscross my cuts because I always crisscross my cuts. But like I said, this gentleman was very low on hair on top. So the, that's the reason why he doesn't like using the machine. So he wants me to use... Um, scissors because if i come in with the machine it'll probably take too much off go the other way now put 
this is a great time guys this is the time to be studying right now that we're at home not doing nothing just taking care of business taking care of the family you know that i hear a lot of talk about barbers out there that that are doing house calls i encourage you guys not to do house calls if you guys are doing house calls man i hope you guys are wearing an n95 mask and you guys are suited up because that's really the only way you can protect yourself you know these are unprecedented times guys and you know in my in my 20 years of being a barber i've never been through this um, I remember the recession of 08, and, you know what I mean, and those, and we, we worked right through that, it was like, it didn't even affect us one bit, and this is totally different, guys, uh, me, myself, as a shop owner, it's it's tough, because, you know, we, I haven't worked in 18 days, and and uh, you can just imagine, we're, we're a cash business, so there's no money coming in at all, There's it, it's craziness, guys, it's really, really craziness. So right there, I'm going from side to side, guys. Again, I crisscross my cuts, just making double sure that that didn't cut uh, at an unlevel area. So what I do is I pick it up, and whatever I, I should have focused a little bit more towards the top. But when I pull it up, when I'm pulling up, I I can see what I missed. Super quick, super fast, guys. Just kind of blow through this haircut. This is every every other week or so. Every other week, he's here to get the fade um so right here i'm just kind of just again just trimming the top a little bit making making sure that it's all nice and even this is why i tell you guys that hair consultation is so important especially if it's a new cut trimmer guys like a gentleman like this you know i've already cut his hair for years and years so i don't really need direction on how to do it or what he wants but a hair consultation is super important that's the first thing you should do when you get a new client in your chair is really discuss with him what he wants how he wants it to look um, and then once you get his analogy of what he wants then you could discuss with him giving him better examples like you know if a gentleman comes into my shop and he has sideburns a lot of times i'll try to take I'll talk him out of it you know even if he the only time i leave him with sideburns is if they're like you could tell like they're guys that like sideburns you know there's just people that love sideburns but if they're like a younger kid uh, you know, it, I, what I do is I always try to talk them into getting a, a taper. You know, take the sideburns off and taper up the back. It looks a lot nicer. It looks more sportier. Especially if they're young. And then I'll tell them for sure, like, why do you want to have sideburns? Sideburns are for old people, you know. The, you, you're young. You shouldn't have sideburns. You should either get a fade or a taper. Make it look nice and tight. That way your haircut lasts longer and it looks nicer. Um, that's just part of your hair consultation, guys. You know, you give the best advice to your clients so that they know that you're knowledgeable and they want to come back and sit in your chair you know at the same time you spark a good convo uh you know always i always tell people i always tell barbers and listen to the news watch the news that way you're you know you're current on current affairs and you know what you're talking about that way you don't sound dumb when you're talking to clients you know because some clients they, they come in not just for the haircut they come in for the convo they come in for to know they're going to ask you questions they're going to want to know what you think and what you you know so you got to be a you, you got to be up to date on those things guys so right here we're moving along quickly guys we're now we're going to start up on the razor part of the fade and what i always do right here guys is i'll um I'll always put a towel in the back right there real quick you know what i mean that way when you put the, the the shaving cream on them in case it goes shoots down it won't get on their shirt get them all messy and so that's what i always do i like to put my uh, a towel down them first dress them first and then when i'm going to come over and get some nice hot lather from my lather machine and guys this is the best part this is why people come and they get haircuts like this is because they get to experience that you know that hot lather on the top on the side of their head and you just you know i don't know about you guys but if you ever gotten a, a razor fade where somebody puts hot lather on you and, and you could just feel it you know on your skin and it feels so good it feels nice and warm and you know it brings that tingly feeling all the way down to your toes so right here, this is what I do, guys. I put my, my hot lather, I put it in my palm, and I use my middle finger or with the other two fingers, and I just pick up a little bit, and then I'll easily just dab it down like that. See that, guys? That way I create my guide. My guide is already right there, kind of. So I'm just adding all my, my shaving cream all the way around. See that? So now I'm going to create, I'm going to start with my fade right here. I'm going to start, uh, uh, shaving it so what i do is see how i use my thumb right there and i cross my thumb all the way across and created a guide that's where i'm gonna start my shave when i start my shave i always start with a little bit of a wiggle if you notice i'll kind of like see i wiggle it and then come down wiggle it and come down that front side right there i yeah i kind of block myself i hate that but i'm using the backstroke i turn my blade around and i come back the other way that was a bad angle for shooting guys but basically you see that 
I always start with a little bit of a wiggle and I come down with it. A little bit of a wiggle and I come down with it. Man, guys, I can't believe I didn't show the rest of the shave on this video. I must have uh, dropped the ball on it and not and not uh, uh, sh shot it or something because I'm not missing the clip and it's not there. But like I always tell you guys, you guys all saw my other videos. When you shave, I shaved it all the way around. Once I shave it, I always go back and finish it off with a, with, with a Bronze Series 9, guys. I always shave it, you know, even if you do a razor fade, guys, I always recommend you finish the fade off at the end with your, with your, with your, um, your shaver because the shave is always going to leave some kind of stubble there. It's always going to leave a little bit. If you run your hand from the bottom up, you'll feel that there's a little bit of a stubble there. So the best thing to do is just go back with your, with your shaver. It only takes a few seconds and it's that little extra detail pop that makes your haircut look feel better feels cleaner you know and people appreciate that they'll know that you went that extra mile to um to do that that, that haircut the proper way uh, whenever I, I tell you guys whenever i do a razor fade i always finish it off with the bronze series nine it's just that's it's a mandatory step that i use on my arsenal so right there the haircut is complete guys i mean that's all there is to it i mean like Feels good, looks good, feels good, guys. So now what I'm just gonna do is uh, I'm gonna put it, add a little bit of uh, a gel on top of his hair, slick it back for him, add a little dab of some smell good. The kind of gel that I use, I like to use Gentleman's Republic. I don't know if you guys have ever heard that. It. Here in, in the Los Angeles area, it's very well known. It's actually a Los Angeles product. Um, I know it's going nationwide, but it's that's my go-to gel right there. That go, that stuff smells so good, and it holds proper way um and, and it just leaves the hair looking nice you know and um all my clients appreciate it so that's the kind that's the main job that we sell at our shop i've sold other ones i've sold elegance i've sold uh johnny b you know i've sold a lot i sell also sell pomades i sell you know this is all part of your being a barber guys is having that extra extra uh, uh if you have a shop you know to be able to do some retail business you know and, and the only way you're going to get retail is if you buy good product you know nobody wants to be buying the cheap stuff that you buy at the stores they want to buy the stuff that they don't sell at the stores um but right here the haircut is pretty much done guys at the end of this haircut what i always do like i do with any haircut is i'm going to go back and i'm just going to do do my little detail work so i slicked it back and once i slick it back i can see there's a little bit of hair sticking out right there so i just go back and do a little detail just do some clipper over comb go all the way around and look at the fade see if there's any shadows make sure that it's perfect you, you always want to double check your work triple check your work just make sure especially when you're doing a haircut like this that you know like right now we're barely on the uh let me see we're on the 22nd minute of the haircut so we have 30 minutes to do this haircut you know you, you take your time you do it right you go back double check your work uh, um and you know your client will appreciate that that's all part of the service guys remember guys when you guys are cutting hair you're not just doing a gray haircut you're selling a service you know if you sell a service and the service is complete and, and, and the client appreciates it they're gonna appreciate you more the next time they're gonna know that you took that initiative and, and you know nine out of ten times guys it's it's more the service than the haircut you know I know that the service is a haircut but it's just you know when you come in you greet them you talk to them make eye contact nice firm handshake talk to your clients sit them down uh give them a hair consultation if you guys at your at your shop offer beverages you offer them a beverage make them feel comfortable um and, and that's all part of the service guys nine out of ten times uh, the client look at this guy he looks like he's having a great time look at that he's so happy right now that i know for sure he's going to be waiting for us there when we come back from quarantine <laughs> you know what i mean that, that's just the way it is guys you make them look good feel good and they come back for sure that's the, that's definitely part of the whole system that's pretty much for this haircut guys i appreciate you guys uh, uh coming on here and watching our videos if you stayed all the way to the end of this video guys i appreciate you even more make sure you drop a comment down there if you stay till the end guys look at there's my smell good i finished every haircut off with some from, with some uh, uh aftershave guys you guys should have at least two or three flavors of that aftershave that makes them feel good guys this is part of the quarantine quarantine uh tutorials guys again i appreciate every single one of you guys stay safe over there stay at home don't be doing no haircuts don't be bringing that rona back to your house guys with that being said you guys stay blessed and stay home and grind on